Hey guys, so today I am continuing my new neutral eye tutorial series. Um, today I am using the Nudes palette by Maybelline. I got this with a coupon for like, so it ended up being like three dollars and there was so much hype about it. I figured if I'm going to do a neutral eye or a nude eye tutorial series, I have to use this one and yesterday I did the Smashbox um, Masterclass 3 palette and I think I'm going to be doing the Nude 2 palette tomorrow so make sure you're tuned in for that um, but this is very um, neutral I did this look and again like I, what I found with this palette is that it's not that great I know it was out it's been so hyped up it's nice but honestly if I had paid the full $13 for this I'd be pretty disappointed just because I've bought and I've gotten really good palettes for like $25 which is $10 more but the quality is so much better I know that Wet n Wild has good eyeshadows elf has good eyeshadow palettes I use them a lot um, they're more like quads though but this one, again, like, it's okay and it's great, but I feel like I should put up a tutorial because so many people bought it and they're probably like, what the heck do I do with this thing? So, um, that's why I thought it would be a good idea to put this one up and it's a good drugstore alternative. Again, if you're starting with makeup, I think this is a good one, um, but if you, if this is something that you're used to doing all the time, I don't recommend this. Honestly, if you have a nude palette, like the Naked palette, or the, um, whatchamacallit, or the Nude Tude, what I'm doing tomorrow, you really don't need this. Um, so, yeah. But, <laughs> if you'd like to know how I got this look, just keep watching. First, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Eyelid Primer. This is probably the best eyelid primer from the drugstore out there. Their e.l.f. has one that I know of, but it's really not that good. And then, it's okay, but this one's a lot better. And then, this one is just, I would compare this, it's kind of like the primer potion, but I like this better than the primer. First we're going to take the second color right here, it's like a taupish color. We're going to take the same, this brush right here, and we're just going to pat it on the lid. All over the lid. We're going to build that up a little bit because I kind of need to build these up because they're not very pigmented. You have to remember to take some Fix Plus and put that on here and see if that kind of intensifies this a little bit more. Might, might not. Not really. Now we're going to take this Real Techniques fluffy brush and we're going to take this lighter topish color right here and we're just going to blend it out a little bit. Like I said, you really can't see the difference. But you're not going to use this plus on a fluffy brush. It's kind of defeating. So now we're going to take this domed brush by BH and I'm going to take this, let's see, this gray color right here, swirl that in, and like I did circles, and then bring it in. Circle, and then bring it in. this color right here 
we're going to put that on the middle part of the lid. Plus on this one too. This is, I'm just going to go in there. I'm just going to dot that right here. Okay. It's showing up a little bit more. Let me take this um, contour brush. It's supposed to be to contour your face, but I love it for doing the outer corner. And so we're going to take this color right here. It's like a greenish color. We're going to wiggle that in. And then we're going to take the corner part right here. At the end, there's like a triangle to the corner. Line it up with your eye and just wiggle it like that. And as you can see, that defines your crease a lot. We're going to take this fluffy brush with nothing on it and we're just going to blend everything together. Okay, so now we're going to take the shorter. Um, brush. It's like a short shader brush. And then we're going to take this color right here. This color. I'm going to mix it with the gold. I'm going to take that and we're going to put that underneath the brow. This flat liner brush. And we're going to take some fix plus for that and we're gonna go into uh, this color right here and we're gonna line our lid take this brown pencil and I'm gonna line my under my eye We're going to take this smudge brush and we're going to take this shade right here and we're going to go under our eye and just smoke it out a little bit. And I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to take this full exposure mascara and okay, as you can see the wand is huge and then we're just going to, like I said in my other video, I don't wear fall season, it was my fall look from the drugstore I believe. Yeah, I don't. No, it's my to check it right with me. I don't wear falsies a lot. If you want to put falsies on, that's fine. There's the garbage truck. It's like clockwork. <laughs> now we're going to take my favorite bottom lash mascara. It's Lash Discovery by Maybelline. Let me do my bottom lashes. The powder. And I'm using the Fit Me Powder by Maybelline. And I am going to powder under my eyes and my T-zone. I like to do this after I do my eyeliner and mascara. And before my blush because I'm going to cover it. But this way, um, if there's something falls, I wipe it and then I'm not wiping the powder off and putting on too much. Squirrel, I believe. Yeah, candid coral. And I'm not going to take my blush brush today. I'm going to use this French. I'm going to use this Francesca's brush. And we're just going to do my tips. Um, contour brush, my angled foundation brush. And I'm going to highlight my cheek. I'm going to use Hot Mama, the sample that I got in Birchbox, and it's the Hot Mama blush, but I like using it as a highlight. 
because it's just a nice pink highlight and for darker skin it just looks really really pretty so if you have like um, medium or dark skin this would be a really pretty highlight on you I don't know about light skin fair skin but and last but not least we're going to do some uh, we're going to do uh, lipstick and today I thought I'd do a deeper color and this is a soft matte lip cream in Monte Carlo so we're just going to put that on I love these these are so they're matte but they're not super like drying, that's my email. And the best thing about neutralized is that you can either go really um, nude like I did yesterday or you could do like a bright lip. That's the thing about neutral eye looks is that you can do so much more than um, the greatest thing about a neutral eye is that you can do a really bright lip or you can do a little a really neutral lip. Um, with a bold eye, it's, you kind of want to do a neutral lip, but I think that when you do a muted eye or a neutral eye, or, it's not really neutral, but using neutral colors, you can still use um, neutral lips, especially now that the 90s style is back where you had browns and browns, um, nude eyes and nude lips, you kind of have to do it. You just have to do a little, a still a little bit more of a contrast. So if you're using light up here, you want to do like a deeper nude down here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's it for the look, guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I kind of like doing like this neutral eye tutorial thing because yesterday as you saw I did a nude lip with it and it looked completely different and I did basically a neutral eye today and did a bold lip with it. So anyway, thanks guys. Bye. Peace.